Good alrighty then. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go through the five two nines. Two of them anyway. I've got three of I think four. And I think you'll find this interesting. If you haven't already, pause. Go and subscribe to the channel. I need to get the numbers up on this thing. It will really help because then I can answer questions directly by streaming. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. These are all totally free, totally unsolicited messages, so help a brother out. No, many mad scientists, let's get down with it. So, if you've been following this group, if you haven't, Line 6 Mini Mad Scientist Club, that's my group, go check it out. We cover everything. This here is the 529HC. 529 means 5 volt to 9 volt, HC, high current. And this is the solution that I've adopted for the last year to run my stomp. Why? Because typically on my board, do, 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 that's my board, the stomp over there is the one pedal which I have never been able to go without. It does everything. And what I do is, instead of locking it down on a pedal board, very typically I will go and get a little bag pop it in there, just take it off the board, leave space for it, and go. And that's me for a weekend or any time that I'm free, that's when I have time to play guitar. Otherwise, you know, if it weren't for COVID, I'd be out working and building light systems and stages and stuff like that. So, yay for that. Your boy Paul Shed and the whole mission engineering massive James and the boys, they came up with this and I pestered them for a long time. So, this takes in USB, C, and what I really wanted to talk to you about in this is the difference between the HC and the M. The M is a tiny thing that I just got today and I've been experimenting. So, believe it or not, there's, there's many ways you can do this. Let me clear that up. There are plenty of products out there which do 5 volt to 9 volt. A birdsong cable, for instance, is a nice, cheapy little thing that this engineer in Belgium came up with, and it's fantastic, but not for the stomp. It can handle maybe up to 700, 800 milliamps. Beyond that, it starts really warming up, and it doesn't have all the protection levels in there. I think the dude from 60 Cycle Hum, what's his name, Ryan? Hey, Ryan, dig your channel. He used one of these and went all over Tillman's with the university. And I was really looking at that, and I started squinting a bit and talking. So, <clears throat> other boy, Jamie, has one of these. And I pump these all the time, not because I have any affiliation with Mission, because I've opened these things up and they're fucking awesome. So this has protection coming in one side and you're talking your stomp. If you love your stomp like I love my stomp, don't skimp on power. It's really a bad idea. So remember, the HC, the high current one, takes a regular USB type A connection to a type C connection and can run. Maximum input on this or maximum output is two amps. The stomp can't push much more than the nominal operating 800, 900. It can go to maybe one three, one four, and you want headroom over that. You never know what's going to happen. And the further field you go, I go every winter to Thailand or Madagascar, someplace really hard, and this puppy wins. Let's get on to the 529M. This is the shell. This came in today. This is the first in a series of videos I will be doing. Look at the size of that thing. It's just unbelievable. And so we're going to cover power now. This is the tiny little circuit board and all the tiny little bits of protection. This is how they're built. I've taken this apart for you so you can see what's going on. And this thing can pump out multiple voltages. It has this little switch, which I showed you in the unboxing. 
I've been Googling all day and doing my research all the time. I could not power the damn thing. Hence this video. What happens is USB C or specifically the USB PD power delivery system takes a regular USB C cable. You have seen these everywhere. Apple uses them, everyone's going to them. Samsung, Android, everyone uses them. This one will not work. Why? Because this is probably an older one with data capabilities and it doesn't have all of the wiring and system set up inside it. I've been going all day through this, so pay attention here. This is the point of this video is from a consumer point of view, from somebody who's actually using this stuff, what is it you need to look out for? Like I needed to look out for. So what happens is with the USB-C PD, this power delivery system has extra cables and wires and Yonder gizmo here with a power supply, this is an AFD thing, sort of the equivalent of any laptop thing, and this runs up to 60 watts. What happens is, when you plug in here, the power supply, be it battery or wall ward or whatever, signals across this extra wire in here and says, hey, this is me, I can supply X amount of power. This talks back to it across that little wire and says, hey, cool. I can take this much, you know, but don't kill me. And they, they talk it out. That would be USB PD. So, things to look out for. A USB C cable is not necessarily always the same. It may not necessarily work. If you're like me and you use Apple stuff or you use Samsung stuff, the 529HC with USB A will work. And you want to think about this because when you're getting these things, unless you have a power supply that is PD or a battery that is PD or a cable that is USB PD compliant with those extra wires, it's not going to work properly. That is bulletproof. This, which is brand new, they've been out for a month, the first one sold out, these ones came back in. This is more intelligent. And that requires intelligent wiring and intelligent supplies. So at the moment, I'm running the stomp on the HC. Now we're gonna switch. I don't think I need to unplug everything and show you, but I will show you the difference between the 529, as this did drive me crazy. So, boom, pretty little board, isn't it? I will be putting this back to normal. I do not suggest you do this if you live in a highly dry thing, because that's not a good idea. So, USB PD supply. And these come with a 2.1 mil center negative 2.1 mil center negative, and that has an adapter to go to 2.5 for the stomped, which is what you need. Ping, she's up and running. What else can you note here? There are no indicator lights on this one. It is much simpler. She's running nice. There's a tiny little switch tiny 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 little switchy thing here that you can switch to change the amount of battery power you can do so you can have it at 2 amps or you can have it at 3 amps and you want to pay attention to that because this thing can run all the way up to 18 volts but it is of course communicating so go through the manuals with these things don't just plug it in watch where this thing is it comes out of the box set to number 2 which would be 9 volt on the front of the case, it says quite clearly what all those things are. If you have pedals that run at 18 volts and you want to go battery powered, like a, what's it called, King of Tone, um, super pedals like that, there are many pedals that actually run way better at 18 volts. If you want to run off batteries, like I do, that's a solution. So. 
that's connected, that's working. Proof of concept, that is now powering the stomp. That can now be taken off, shoved in a tiny little bag, go to the beach, and have fun. And I will be doing videos with all this stuff outside and working. We'll be covering all of the different uses for this thing. The major one I found is noise, electrical noise. If you're running everything into one jack like I am here, I do the worst case scenarios in all of my testing. Everything on one line. So I've got my two speakers in there, I've got the computer in there, I've got everything together and running with these little puppies. Zero noise. If you're recording, think about it. If you're on stage, think about it. These things rock. Rock, 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 rock. So that's about it. Remember that. USB PD is potentially a new thing. I'm sure the vast majority of people would know about it, but if you are looking to go wireless, you're also going to want to look at wall work power supplies, batteries, cables. If you think you have everything in your kit bag that's going to work, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Nice one, James. Very impressed. Very, very impressed. I will see you there.